What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Pokemon26 here, back at it again with another episode of the SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 GM mode. Um, now, if you guys did catch the last episode, we did quite a bit uh, in you know shaping rivalries and everything like that. But here's a huge but, and it, it kind of worked out for us in a way. So. Before we get any further, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more uh, of these videos as well as all the other content that I'll be bringing to the channel. But, um, so, I believe it was, f yeah, Friday, uh, Friday night, I'm recording this on Sunday. Friday night, my computer had an update, so I updated it, and when I got back, uh, I went and played D&D at a friend's house. When I got back, um... The entire computer wasn't working. Like, I would turn it on and the mouse and keyboard wouldn't work. I looked up as many fixes as I could find. Eventually, I just ended up resetting the computer and um, reinstalling Windows. So, when I reinstalled Windows, I lost all the save data from the previous game. So, I had to restart everything, re download everything. It's honestly a wonder that I'm even here right now being able to record this after all the downloading and everything that I had to do. But, here we are. So, I got back to about where we were. Uh, I, I finished the first four weeks of the GM mode. There is some key differences. Um, so, real quick, first and foremost, we've got a few created wrestlers on the show now um, that we didn't have before. Um, and we'll go over my roster real quick just to show you guys all the main differences. Um, so starting right there. So, um, so we've got The Undertaker. Um, I believe we had him before. I believe we did. I think we had him and Kane. <clears throat> um, we still got Triple H. We've still got The Rock and Steve Austin. Uh, we've got Shelton, Sean. We've got Sabu now. Um, I needed some more cruiserweights because RVD um, in this save file that I've got uh, is no longer considered a cruiserweight. So. Um, I, I hired on Sabu, who does count as a cruiserweight. Uh, we've got Rey Mysterio still. We've got Eddie. Er, yeah, we do, we do still have Eddie Guerrero, even though he didn't pop up. Um, Randy Orton, Matt Hardy, Kurt Angle, Jeff Hardy, another creative wrestler. Jeff is one of my favorites of all time. Um, and when I saw that he was a creative wrestler in this save file that I found, I was like, you know what? I'm definitely going to use him. I've got both of the Hardy Boys now. I uh, just got to work on Jeff's popularity. Uh, we've still got Edge. He is actually currently feuding with Matt Hardy, and he is currently the United States Champion. Eddie and Ray are still the WWE Tag Team Champions. Um, CM Punk is the Cruiserweight Champion. Um, and then we've still got Bobby Lashley and Batista. So the, the roster's made a couple of, of key changes, but I think, honestly speaking, this roster is leagues better than the roster we had before. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right on in to our next show here. And I've set up the card to pull everything up like this, uh, like to make a preset balanced card, and then I can work from there. Um, Edge actually won in this game, won the United States Championship in a steel cage match against Matt Hardy last week. Um, real quick, before I go any further, I did get a comment on the last episode to look over some of these reports, and the gentleman reminded me that we can look at the Power 25 here. So you see, we have four of the top five spots uh, for the Power 25 right now. Um, and we've got s six of the top ten. So we're actually doing really good. Uh, financials doesn't really matter. Let's check out the Raw results for last week. They didn't even book the first two matches on Raw. Granted, the past week was also Backlash, so, uh, but they, I mean, they're putting on pretty decent shows, you know? And SmackDown results, I'm putting on even more decent shows, you know? I'm, it's obviously people loving steel cage matches. I can't be having those all the time. Um, but we're currently working up towards... We're currently working towards a pay-per-view in Judgment Day. So, with that being said, we're going to put Matt Hardy and Edge in a 
first blood. Take Edge out of this main event. Actually, we'll make this for the World Heavyweight title. We've still got Randy Orton feuding with Steve Austin for the World Heavyweight title. Uh, that is not happening. <coughs> we'll make this a tag team match, though. The Rock and Batista can be on a tag team for sure. But Triple H is going to replace The Undertaker as Shawn Michaels' partner. Down to run interference promotion. I don't want to do that. I've done all my clean, dirty turns that I need to for now. Let me put some title match hype on the World Heavyweight Title Match this uh, for this evening. In a steel cage. Randy Orton will not be facing Shelton Benjamin. Um, instead, we'll put Jeff Hardy in there. And we won't make it a steel. I don't want to run too many steel cage matches because we can still get injured superstars. Um, so we'll make this a tape match. Uh, hardcore Fatal Four Way. I mean, that's a pretty pretty stacked Fatal Four Way, if you ask me. Um, but we'll, we're gonna take out Eddie Guerrero from that Fatal Four Way because he is going to face. Bobby and Shavo. We're going to have the WWE Tag Team titles on the line. Eddie, we will replace you in this four way match. Um, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll do Sabu. So, yeah, here's the match card for our first week uh, of this episode. We've got a first blood match continuing the rivalry between Matt Hardy and Edge. We've got a WWE tag team title match between Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero and Bobby Lashley and Chavo Guerrero. Chavo always wanting to be a thorn in his uncle's side. Uh, we've got a title match hype for the World Heavyweight Championship match at the end of the night. Uh, we've got a hardcore fatal four way between Sabu, Kurt Angle, RVD, and CM Punk, all gentlemen who at one point in time were a member of the ECW roster. Uh, then we've got a tables match between Jeff Hardy and Shelton Benjamin. We've got an interference promotion. RVD is going to run some interference against Raw and try to get some viewers over to our, our show. Um, then we've got a tag team match with Shawn Michaels and Triple H facing The Rock and Batista, who are both heels now in this, uh, in this GM mode. And to wrap up the night, we've got a World Heavyweight Championship match. It's going to be a steel cage with Randy Orton facing the World Heavyweight Champion Steve Austin for his title. And as you guys know, we do like to watch at least one match per episode. Um, so I think for this one, <coughs> you know, I've already hyped up the title match. I might as well watch. And we're not going to watch the main event every time, but I feel like that's going to be the most fun one to watch. Edge picking up a huge victory uh, after defeating Matt Hardy for the United States Championship last week. Picked up a huge victory here this week in a first blood match. Will Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero be able to retain Bobby Lashley and Chavo picking up a huge WWE Tag Team Championship win? Uh, in the Hardcore Fatal 4-Way match, whoever wins this match uh, will be inserted in to Judgment Day to face Edge and Matt Hardy in a triple threat for the United States Championship. Sabu picking up a huge ma uh, huge win here. Um, so he will be added to the United States Championship match at Judgment Day in a few weeks. I'm making a note of that right now and ooh, so Sabu added to that United States Championship match Jeff Hardy facing Shelton Benjamin in a tables match who will pick up the victory here Jeff Hardy picking up a huge victory um, being new to the game being new to the card over Shelton Benjamin and then we've got DX versus The Rock and Batista DX picking up a ginormous victory over the legend The Rock and Batista himself. 
And last but not least, we will be watching our World Heavyweight Championship Steel Cage match between Randy Orton and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Randy Orton making his way down to the ring for possibly the biggest match in his career at this point in time. And he is going one on one in a steel cage match. I believe they have to get over the top of the steel cage. But his opponent. Stone Cold, the World Heavyweight Champion. And as you can see now, we are lowering the cage down to the ring for what is going to be possibly one of the most brutal matches we've showcased here on the channel so far. Stone Cold wanting to retain his title at all costs, and Randy Orton, uh, not going to have any opportunity to have any backup in this match because, you know, nobody's going to be able to get into the ring to help him out. He is facing the legend in the business, one of the greatest of all time in Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold going for an early STF. I'll turn this down a bit so that the uh, <coughs> microphone doesn't pick up too much extra noise. <coughs> Randy Orton now, though, taking over here, trying to work the legs, the, the obviously, I mean, you see him wearing the knee braces, everybody knows Stone Cold's got some some, uh, some pretty bad knee issues, so uh, if Randy Orton could maybe uh, extort those issues, he could be the one that climbs out of the cage and walks away tonight with the World Heavyweight Championship. I don't believe pin or, uh, give, uh, pin or submission is on right now, so I believe it's... You, the only way to win is to escape the cage. So we'll see how these gentlemen uh, decide to work that into their uh, match tonight. Obviously, again, like I said, Orton targeting those knees, those weakened knees of Stone Cold, maybe trying to make it harder for Stone Cold to uh, climb out of the cage uh, if he can't use his knees for support. Orton now with a Russian leg sweep. And as you can see at the top right of your screen, Stone Cold's legs are starting to feel it starting to feel that pain from Orton constantly going to that uh, to that knee Stone Cold though not showing any any sort of backing uh, backing down at this point in time a couple of quick reversals there Stone Cold coming out with the upper hand after a punch right to Orton's face uh, and we got Randy Orton now responding with a chop Look like he might have been going for a headlock takedown there. Ooh, what's Orton got in mind here? Oh, Orton using the cage to his advantage, smacking Stone Cold's face right against the steel. Orton now. Oh, it looked like he could have been potentially going for the RKO there. Ooh, Stone Cold returning in kind using... Oh, what a low blow. Orton and an RKO out of nowhere. Oh my goodness, the low blow into the RKO, this could be Orton's chance, but what is he doing? He's just, he's, he's, I guess he's just decided to lay in more pain on Stone Cold. He probably could have had it right there if he would have tried to go up, uh, up over the top of the cage. Uh, after that low blow RKO combination, Stone Cold now, working to get back to his feet. What's he got in mind here? Oh, another big... Big punch that time it looked like it's the maybe to the neck or the upper chest. Orton with the knees to the midsection. Stone Cold catching it and dropping an elbow on Orton's knee. Back and forth these 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 gentlemen go. These superstars. Stone Cold taking a second to catch his breath, and now he's just stomping a mud hole right on Randy Orton's chest and face. Orton with a poke to the eyes. 
Stone Cold probably knows better than anybody else though how to do, how to play dirty and how to counter the dirty play. With a big stomp to the midsection. Stone Cold now going up to the top rope for an oh. Looks like he might not have gotten all of that, but he did definitely hit a portion of Randy Orton with that elbow drop. Orton now from behind with a huge shin breaker. Again, going back to those legs of Stone Cold, trying to make him immobile as possible. Also, Orton working the timeout on that uh, to force Stone Cold out of his finishing uh, sequence. Ooh, smash Stone Cold's face against the steel one more time. Or now with a huge elbow across the face. Regaining a little, uh, a little of his breath here. Oof, oof. Orton's got a finisher stock ready to go. He could drop that RKO at any time. As we've seen him before, he, he, I think that's not even the first time we've seen him do the low blow RKO combo. So, oh, Orton's actually healed off some of the damage to his chest here. Uh oh, what's Orton got in mind here? Off the top rope, RKO! What an RKO, a super RKO, and R R Orton now trying to climb to the top of this cage here. Oh, he's got this. He could have. He could have the World Heavyweight Championship by the end of the night here. This could be it, folks. Orton now climbing down the side of the cage. Randy Orton is our new World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, boy. What a match. What a match that was. Orton showed up tonight and said, They don't call me the Legend Killer for nothing. If you want this title back, you will have to take it from me at Judgment Day. Randy Orton picking up a huge victory, the most monumental victory in his short career so far here in SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Stone Cold will probably not take too kindly to that. Alrighty, let's get to the results for the week. RVD ran some interference. SmackDown gained 240,000 fans this week back from Raw. Raw got a two-star rating. SmackDown, well, we got a three-star rating. Uh, usually SmackDown superstars appear on SmackDown and Raw superstars appear on Raw. That was definitely not the case this past week as SmackDown's Raw RVD showed up on Raw. And the superstar sprinted into the arena during a match and started to pick a fight with one of the show's superstars. This may just be the spark that ignites the fire. Uh, new women's champion, Candice Michelle. Shelton Benjamin couldn't pull out a victory even if their opponent was flat on their back and asleep. This last week remarked the fifth loss in a row for the superstar. Well, we're going to have to try and see if we can't get Shelty um, some some better matches uh, oh and Raw has officially signed Chris Benoit I left him on the roster it was a long story there's a lot of fixing I had to do uh, but yeah Chris Benoit is their WWE champion and in another exciting evening of WWE action Smackdown's Triple H came out with one task in mind win and he did in a 3.5 star match <clears throat> So I think at the beginning and the end of every show, I'm going to check the Power 25 report um, just to be just to be sure that we are, we know what's coming up or, or who's coming up rather. Um, as you guys can see, we've still got about three weeks left till Judgment Day. Um, does the Velocity matches not count towards? I think it does. Matt Hardy's in both promos. He's in an interference promo, and they're doing the rivalry match promo. I think Sean and Triple H have definitely earned a WWE Tag Team shot. For the Tag Team title, that is. That's funny that they put Jeff Hardy with CM Punk, who's one of his biggest rivals, uh, against his brother, Matt Hardy, who, I mean... 
realistically was a big rival of his as well. What do we do? Can I just vacate this? Yeah. There we go. I want the lads on the actual main card, if that's possible. Shelton versus Sabu in a singles match to start the show. That sounds fine to me. Um, we we could do a rivalry in place of a match there. Uh, Rey Mysterio versus RVD versus The Undertaker in a triple threat match. That, what a match that is. And then The Rock versus Kurt Angle versus Batista in another one. Let's 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 change this up just a bit. Can we do a hardcore triple threat match? That sounds better. Interference promotion. Matt Hardy's going to run interference for me. Edge versus Shawn Michaels for the United States title is not going to happen. We put Eddie Guerrero in that match, though, and he will not make it for the United States title. Uh, Steve Austin and Randy Orton in a hardcore match. We'll just make this a regular singles match so they don't get uh, too fatigued. Before I confirm my match card, I need to make sure the rivalries are still going the way they're supposed to. Okay, so yes, this still has a thumb, and this still has a thumb. Cool. Alright, let's confirm this match card. Orton coming out, and uh, really proclaiming that he is the greatest champion that SmackDown has ever seen. Stone Cold not taking any of that. Um, comes out, he wants to promo against Orton. He says, listen boy. Judgment Day, it's going to be you, it's going to be me, and we're going to be in hell in a cell for the World Heavyweight Championship. But tonight, tonight I'm going to take your melee ass and I'm going to show you why you're just a transitional piece of shit champion, and I am the man to lead SmackDown into the future. Shelton Benjamin finally picking up a big W over Sabu. Sabu obviously has that U.S. title match at Judgment Day against Matt Hardy and Edge. Uh, so he didn't really need the victory there. So I guess he might have taken taken a rest, put it put it back, you know. Uh, here we've got Bobby versus Chavo versus uh, Bobby and Chavo versus Triple H and Shawn Michaels. I think this is going to be the match we will watch this week. It's an elimination tornado tag match. Anything can happen. It could be crazy. I don't think I don't think disqualifications are turned off, so not everything can happen. They can't just Triple H isn't going to be busting out his uh, trusty sledgehammer to start taking people out. But um, here we show Bobby Lashley with personally my favorite tag team title of all time, the uh, WWE Tag Team Championships from like 2002 to 2009. Mwah. Bobby Lashley picking up a huge win last week with Chavo to, uh, I mean, they beat Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio, two of the greatest to ever do it in the luchador style. Chavo, know that, and Chavo knows that better than anybody, seeing as he is the nephew of Eddie Guerrero and close friend to Rey Mysterio, as the Guerrero family has been pretty much since they came up together in the wrestling industry. Tonight, though, Bobby and Chavo will face probably the toughest task of their careers as they face Triple H and Shawn Michaels, two bona fide main eventers, wanting to come out here tonight as a tag team and potentially pick up those tag team championships. Here we go, Triple H and Bobby Lashley starting it off early here, and Chavo going after Sean. Ooh, what an enziguri. Bobby and Chavo, uh, obviously not been a tag team for long, they just kinda, kinda got together last week and said, hey, we want a shot at some gold. And uh, so they went out, 
they fought for the WWE Tag Title, and they pulled off the victory. Now the question is, can they ride that momentum to a title defense here this week, and potentially uh, carry those titles into the next pay-per-view? Triple H now with Bobby in the corner, just ramming his knee into Bobby's midsection. Chavo working a little dirty over there with Sean. Sean now with a big back suplex to Bobby Lashley. Triple H with a back suplex of his own to Chavo. These gentlemen showing why they are the more experienced tag team already in this contest. Triple H working Chavo over in the corner. Gonna lay some punches in. That's four. Oh, <laughs> Sean might have had it there. Well, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have had the whole match won. He, it is an elimination style match, so both Chavo and Bobby have to be uh, pinned before this match can be finished. Or vice versa. You know, both Triple H and HBK have to be pinned. And honestly speaking, even though it's a tornado tag match and. Uh, Whoever gets pinned first, their team has an obvious disadvantage. I feel like Triple H or Shawn Michaels should be able to hold their own before between between both of the, uh, their opponents tonight. Bobby is a, a large gentleman, but he's also unproven in the ring at this point in time. Whereas HBK and Triple H have been around for years at this point in time, and know exactly what they have to do to pick up victories in any type of match. Chavo and Bobby are still pretty new to this whole thing. Definitely never tagged together before last week when they picked up those those WWE Tag Team Championships. Sean might want to save that. I was going to say if he wants to use that finisher, he might, he might want to save it real quick. Triple H now working over Bobby. Ooh, what a flip. What an athleticism from Triple H on his end. Looks like Shawn Michaels going for a sharpshooter on Chavo Guerrero right now. Chavo could be tapping out here. Bobby Lashley notices it, but doesn't have any reprieve from Triple H. Looks like looks like Triple H might have been thinking pedigree there, but Bobby Lashley saw it coming. Chavo now being worked over by both Shawn and Triple H. Chavo gets out of it and hits a huge hurricane run on HBK. Bobby Lashley now laying fists into HBK's head. Chavo and Bobby have turned the tides and really kind of slowed the match down right here. Giving them a slight, uh, slight bit of reprieve maybe to gain some stamina back. <clears throat> But HBK tripping Bobby Lashley. Ooh! Lashley with a kick right to the, the, uh, the uh, well, you know, the Johnson. Triple H, though, looking for a, a pin on Chavo early. Chavo getting up immediately. Uh-oh. Bobby Lashley, Dominator on HBK. He could have went for the pin there, but Triple H caught him before he got the chance. And now... Chavo has Triple H locked up in a look like a, a, a an abdo, abdominal stretch of some sort. Uh, ooh, what a poke to the eye! Chavo playing dirty as usual. HBK though, he could have Bobby dead to rights if he hits him with a with a super kick. His patented finisher, patented at this point in time, not not in 2023, obviously. Everybody's using that. Triple H wants those titles, and he wants his his partner there with him to the very end, trying to pick up some momentum against Chavo right now. HBK looked like he was about to run the ropes. Ooh, quick pin on Bobby Lashley. One, two. Chavo saving, saving Lashley from a quick pin attempt there from the roll up. Chavo now with a finisher of his own, picks up HBK with a huge back suplex. Ooh. Triple H has to be careful here. Uh-oh. Chavo now going for his finisher. He's got Triple H up and he slams him down. I don't think that would be enough to take out Triple H, though. He hasn't had a whole lot of 
damage done to him yet. HBK the more damaged of the two members of DX currently. Ooh, what a big body toss there. Hip toss, rather. HBK with a super kick out of nowhere. That could be it for Bobby Lashley. Triple H going for that pin. Bobby Lashley is out. And now it's down to just Shavo versus both members of DX. Both members of DX also now have, have their finishers. This should be it. Shawn Michaels looking for the sweet chin music. He is tuning up the band. This could be all over, folks. Shavo eating the super kick right to the face. Triple H. Oh, Triple H now dropping a knee right across Shavo's bloodied face. What could these gentlemen have in mind? They're kind of just toying with him at this point. HBK now finally rolling Shavo over for the pin. And that is three. D-Generation X are our new WWE Tag Team Champions. What a match. Triple H and HBK pretty much dominating the whole time. There were a few times there where Shavo and Bobby got some good, good offense in, but... Triple H and HBK picking up the victory in very clean, very clear style. I don't even think they ever got it out of the ring. Alright, so the next up is our triple threat match. We've got Rey Mysterio versus RVD versus Undertaker. Rey Mysterio picking up a huge victory in a triple threat match there. Then we've got a hardcore triple threat match. We've got The Rock versus Kurt Angle versus Batista. Kurt Angle picking up a huge victory as well. Um, first blood match, we've got Eddie Guerrero versus Edge. These two have had storied rivalries on SmackDown for four. Eddie Guerrero picking up a big victory here tonight over the United States Champion. And last but not least, our new World Heavyweight Champion, Randy Orton, going one-on-one -on -one with his rival Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Randy Orton picking up a huge victory as well. That's two weeks in a row for Randy Orton now, beating Stone Cold Steve Austin. One of the greatest to ever do it. Security foils the interference of Matt Hardy, but we still gained 290,000 new fans this week. Raw is slipping right now, and we are reaping all the benefits, lads. We are reaping them all. What is the current fan count? Okay, Raw's only got 120,000 over the 500,000, which means we're at 488,000. We are closing the gap. And by the time Judgment Day rolls around, I feel like we will be in the lead. There is a new champion. Umaga is the new World Tag Team Champion. Uh, the match of the week has to go to the Kurt Angle match. It had its share of momentum swings and ended with a fantastic finish. This match definitely was a standout match for SmackDown this past week. The fans agreed, and it, <clears throat> as it landed the highest rating. Uh, this match will definitely be considered a classic and will end up on one of these superstars' DVD collections in the near future. So if we can keep putting on matches like that, we should be fine. Finley can't buy a match. Um, in another exciting evening of WWE action, SmackDown's Randy Orton came out with one task in mind, win, and he did in a 3.5 star rated match. So, as I stated earlier before we did week two, I will be showing off the reports before we continue to uh, the next episode. We've still got Bret Hart sitting atop the... Uh, I meant to pick up Bret Hart. I actually didn't mean to let them have him, but that's fine. He's number one right now. Triple H and HBK were number one last week, but they dropped to number two even though they picked up the, world, uh, the WWE Tag Team Championships. Uh, Edge and Orton are both in a tag team and both champions, Edge with the United States Champion, Orton with the World Heavyweight Championship, Steve Austin uh, coming in at fourth or third place, um, Kurt Angle coming in at fifth, The Rock at sixth, and Rey Mysterio at eighth. We are dominating the top ten right now. Um, let's check out our SmackDown results. It said it got the highest rating, but honestly, Three out of my six matches got three and a half stars. The Shelton match was the only one that underperformed, and I mean, Raw's not even putting on full match cards right now. So, yeah, 
you guys did enjoy today's episode and enjoy how I was able to bring it back, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more um, wrestling and you know any any other kind of content that I plan to bring to the channel. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.